You ready? Time to sweat. Let's go. It's Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Let's start it off with a fit test. Please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps help the channel. Made subscribing easy. It's right on the screen. You don't even have to scroll down and look for it. Hit that bell notification. That way you know every time I upload and that's every day. So Mondays, we always do fit test. That's the new trend. If you have an alternative uh, heart monitor, I use the iPhone watch. Plus I have my heart monitor on my chest because I have the M7. If you don't have a Max, a Bowflex Max trainer and you have an elliptical or whatever kind of machine, join us anyway. We're here for everybody. So let's find our fit test. As soon as I find it, there it is. Let me get my iPhone watch going. And we can start some music. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> it's going to ask me for, I, I've done that before. It's going to ask me for my weight. So let's go up and find it. Do, 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 do. I always forget about this part, no matter how many times we do it. Let me pause my iPhone watch. Okay, we are there. It's going to ask me for my age, 51, and now, start this, 3, 2, 1, keep your hands on the handles, it's a 3 minute spin after you get up to a certain heart rate. It'll start for you automatically. We're all probably going to start at a different time. Mine started. Now, after we're done with the fit test, we're going to do the seven minute intervals. Trying to stay consistent Monday through, through Saturday on what we do. I got two and a half minutes left. There's nothing really to shout out about this one. It's just your machine measuring your progress. Something you should get used to. It's also it's like an extension to the warm up, too. So it's kind of good. I just stay with my legs the whole time. That way it stays consistent on the fit testing part of it. I got a minute and a half. Now if I start the next one without you, just hit the pause. Do what you have to do. You're always going to have that message on there that says stay within the target range. I have 50 seconds left. Like I said, I'll give it a few seconds in between. 
47-minute interval. Oh, it feels good. Okay. Put my phone back on to pause, or pause. My watch. Sweet. All right. You guys should be pretty close to being finished up. I'm gonna get out of that one. Next, let's find this seven-minute interval. I know a lot of you guys like this one. If you're past this, if you're past the seven minute and you feel it's too short for you, number one, do it anyway. Make it challenging. Alright? Juice it up. And then afterwards, continue working out. Alright. Remember, we go right into a sprint, right from the get go. I'm going to take my phone off of pause. Let's get some music going here. Three, two, one, start it. Same with all the other ones, goes right into a sprint. I'm on a resistance of 10. Five seconds we go for round three. 
I broke 100 calories already. There's no guarantee that I'll have 200 by the end of the seven minutes. You gotta fight for everyone. This is where we come to discuss what the workout was that we just completed. So today was Monday. So every Monday we're trying to start a uh, tradition here where we do the fit test. That's between you and whatever your, uh, whatever your phone is telling you that you, your recordings are. So hopefully they're improving. You can go back and look at your other stats. If you don't have the app, there is an app for uh, Android and iPhone that you can download this particular uh, Bowflex app for the Max Trainer and your readings will come right to your phone. Now you might not need that if you have one of the newer machines like the M8. Uh, I'm not familiar with the M... I was told they make an M6 too. I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, but the M8 I believe is a tablet, a removable tablet, so you probably keep all your stats right on there. These uh, older machines with these control panels, you don't have that removable tablet. So, uh, my target range for the um, seven minute interval. Now, like I said, during the workout, you guys that don't like the seven minute one because it's too short of a workout, that's fine. Just do it with us anyway. Juice it up really hard, 
okay? Get the full maximum. When I come off that seven minute, I'm burnt. I'm pacing at a higher rate. I'm you know, still going into my interval sprints. You gotta make the workout what it is. All right, just because it seems too easy. If it is too easy for you, you're not coming off breaking a sweat or anything, you're not working hard enough. That's just the bottom line, okay? And then, uh, so do like I'm gonna introduce or invite you to do with me right now. When we're done with this little talk here, I didn't announce it on the video. Uh, join me for a bonus round. And I'll title, I'll make it a separate video. I'll title it a uh, uh, bonus round. We're gonna go on manual and just uh, spin. We'll, we'll decide, see how many calories we can get there. So, all right, great workout today. I will see you tomorrow.